Hello Stevies, welcome back to the channel. A uh, little bit of a different video today. As you see, I've got the trailer somewhat into the garage. Now this is the nice thing about having a low slung trailer because it fits in the garage. And if it's pouring rain outside, you can still, you can still load up the bikes and not have them get wet outside. Now there is the thought of if your trailer's facing uphill a little bit, which this one is, um, if it's raining, the rain, the runoff is going to come back into the garage off the top of the trailer. But I mean, you could just lower the jack down in front and put the stabilizers down and load it that way too, so that the it's facing more downhill and everything's running off of it. But as you guys know, uh, in a couple weeks we're leaving for vacation and we're taking both bikes with us. Now. I have hauled Miss Stevie's bike in this trailer. I have hauled the Fury in this trailer. I've never hauled two bikes at one time. So I want to put them in the trailer and strap them down and see how I'm going to do it. So I'm not trying to figure it out when we're leaving for vacation. You know, that's probably kind of the worst time to do it. We're going to go ahead and load them into the trailer. Okay, and as you guys know, this trailer has the freezer latches freezer type latches this is hard to do with the camera you guys kind of hang out right there while I do that right there. I cannot put the ramp down with these latches down as cool as that would be and I have the side door open to give us just a little bit more light back there okay so I've hauled enough equipment in my day guys that I know lights on I know that I want to get my straps out before I start the straps are up here in the nose and we use tank straps get them from SRK cycles now you can strap these down with just two straps but you guys saw in one of our last videos I did that and Miss Stevie's bike uh, hit above and moved because the road was rough so I'm going to strap, I'm going to use three straps. <clears throat> Try not to hit my head, I need one more. There we go. Okay, so I had to put Miss Stevie's bike on the left side. I, I figured that out because if I put her bike on the right side, her, her bike sits so low that her kickstand is too long. So... To get her bike on the kickstand, you have to lean it this way and then kick the kickstand out and then it'll come back. If I put it on this side, then it, it hits the wall. So the Stevie's bike has to go on this side, my bike has to go on this side. This is like the worst part about getting a bike out is taking this flipping covers off. There's that tip. Put your bikes in trailer mode also.
Okay, so as you can see, the, the bike looks pretty straight. It's uh, it's pretty straight up and down. Um, I do have the front two straps on. Now the reason that I strap through here like this is because I want unsprung weight. And these straps are not gonna, they're not going to uh, bend anything. They're not gonna scratch anything. They're soft. Um, and they're 11,000 pound braking strength. But yeah, this, this, these will hold the bike no problem whatsoever. But I need to stop the back end from moving around. And since I've already done this with Miss Stevie's bike, I know where to strap down for that. Okay, so as you can see, I went up through the frame right there. And then from there, I went straight over to this D-ring. Then from that D-ring, I went straight over to this D-ring. And now we've got triangle for strength. It's pulling down on both sides equally. So if it does hit a bump, it's not going to try to move it to one side or the other. But this way, I still only have to use three straps instead of four. And honestly, with this Deluxe, uh, it's a lot tougher to find places to strap down on it. Now, on my Road King, which will go here, I, um, I'm going to hit my head. I may use four straps because I can just go from the passenger uh, pegs down to the D-rings. So I might do that. Once again, taking the cover off, pain in the butt. Bike in trailer haul mode. This one's a little different. Miss Stevie's bike actually says transport mode. Mine just flashes the lights. There's a lot of weight in here now. Okay, they're fairly straight up and down. My bike is over this way quite a bit more. I'll have to work on that next time. Now I'm gonna finish strapping this one down. I'm gonna go from that D-ring up to that passenger peg. And then I'll go from this passenger peg to that D-ring. The only thing these are gonna do is just stop the bike from moving around. needs also with these tank straps guys when you push them up all the way so they're like this when you get done ratcheting if you take the the ratchets and put them all the way up it locks them so that that can't back out there's a little lock that comes down there it is both bags both bikes are in there they're strapped down just about clunked my head again yeah this is gonna work uh, the bikes are more than strapped down enough. 
I'm not worried about them going anywhere. Um, I'm not worried about them moving now because the back ends are strapped down too. Uh, SRK Cycles, guys, I think it's, I think their website's M1 Moto, where you can pick up their gloves and these tank straps and stuff. That's where I bought them. They're strapped down. And, uh, hi. Hi. Yeah. Uh, you're on camera. Hi. I got, I got them both in here. Oh my gosh, you did. Yeah. First time we've ever had two bikes in here. Mine is a little bit over, but. Is it going to hit my bike there? Nope. We need to put something in between it? No. Oh, wow. Looks good. You know what would fit right here? What? Grom. <laughs> Angie and Sunny help! <laughs> so that's how we're gonna, we're gonna haul them. Love it. Yeah. I'm excited. Two weeks. So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool. And we will see you on the road. <laughs> Sonny and Angie Badger.